What's up guys, I'm Tyler Casey and today I'm gonna to walk you through my coloring process using some LUTs that I have. If you guys wanna download the free LUT that I'm gonna be using today, make sure to click the link down there in the description, go to our website, Cinepax, download the free LUT, just enter your email and it's gonna send it straight to you. Coloring is one of the most important things because this gives the look and mood and feel of your video, whether it's a music video, it doesn't matter what kind of video it is, it's important to color. Coloring is a really good tool for storytelling to convey to your audience how you want them to feel. And overall, coloring is gonna polish your product. So today I'm gonna to show you how I color my projects and we're gonna use some of the LUTs that I have. So download that free LUT and let's hop right into Premiere. So now that we downloaded and unzipped our pack, this is what the paid version looks like. But if you guys have the free version, there's gonna be a coupon for $5 off instead. So here are all the log LUTs. So if you shot and log, these are what you're gonna to wanna to use. And then here are all the Rec 709 LUTs. And the way to import LUTs, it's different for every program, but for Premiere, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to copy all these over, Control C. We're gonna come over to our local disk drive. We're gonna come over to, we're gonna to go to Program Files. We're gonna to go to Adobe. And then we're gonna find Premiere. They changed the folder look of it. So you're gonna come down to Illumetry. Then you're gonna come into LUTs, Creative, and you're gonna paste those right into there. Click Continue. And then you could, we could like do this for all items. Then you could do the same for the log LUTs as well. So now, once you restart Premiere, your LUTs are gonna be in there. So I have this clip right here that I shot on the GH5 and I just shot in CineD. So I'm gonna use the Rec 709 LUT and then I'll show you guys how to use the log LUT as well. So first thing, when you wanna color a clip, you're gonna click this to go into the coloring tab right here. And then what I like to do is I like to click master. So let's say this was all chopped up and this was moved throughout. So let's say, I didn't click master and I just started coloring this clip right here. And let's say I did some adjustments. Let's say that's my color. Then when I move down the line, you're not gonna see the color on that clip. If I were to click master, let's say I bring the Luma tree onto the master and I look at this clip and then I move over to this clip it's all throughout the entire clip. So I really like doing this and this is really useful, especially if your exposure doesn't change throughout your clip. So we're on master and I'm gonna come over to Lumetri scopes. So now what we can do is we can actually grab our color curves and we can kind of color correct this a little bit. Usually you don't want this any higher than hundred. So I'm gonna lower that just a little bit, just below hundred. And then I'm gonna bring these down just a little bit before that touches zero. And then I'm going to bring up this to get a more well-balanced image. And I'm gonna crunch this down here a little bit. And we automatically have some contrast. So what we can see as well is we turn that on and off and we can already see a big difference in our image. This was just a shot in Cine D. So now what we can do is we can actually add our LUT in. So I'm gonna to go to browse. You can look through it through there. This is the free LUT that I included. So we can kind of see what that looks like. So right off the bat, we can see that this is a little too saturated, unless if you like this look. But what I would do is I'm probably gonna play with the intensity a little bit. Maybe I'll bring it up. And also what I would like to do, so I'm gonna play the clip a little bit. I think I would like to warm up the clip because originally my clip was pretty blue to begin with. And you can see in this waveform right here, you can see how blue is a lot higher than the other colors. So what I can do is I can bring in just a little bit of warmth. So we can see the hair light hitting them is a little bit warmer now. So now when we play it, we kind of have this really cool look to it. So I might've warmed up the image too much. I'm gonna go like kind of like right in between. And I think I like the way this looks. Also in here, you can play with a lot of other things besides from warming up and cooling your footage. You can also bring down the blacks, you can bring down the whites as well, add or remove contrast, and you can play with saturation as well down here. You can also give your video a faded film look kind of see what that does kind of gives it that old faded type look you can sharpen your footage you can add more vibrance and you can add more saturation here another thing you can add is a vignette you can make it to make people focus in more on your image so depending on which way you move it if you move it this way you get more of a vignette if you do it this way you get a lighter edge um, if you are going to do this just make it very subtle 
Uh, you don't really like even want it that noticeable unless if it's like a stylistic look you're going for. So here we have some log footage. So I'm gonna show you guys how that color grades. So pretty much the same thing. You just wanna make sure you grab the log LUT. So uh, I'm probably gonna start with the LUT on this one just because to see how much work I need to do. I'm gonna grab a different LUT. I'm gonna grab this greenish type LUT and I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. Now I'm gonna come into curves. I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. And then I'm going to pull that up. And just something real quick and light. And we can see width all the way back to before. So it really depends what color profile your camera shot in. But that's pretty much the basics of how I begin to color my footage. I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure to check out our other free packs because those all have tutorials with them as well. Drop a comment if you guys have any questions. Make sure to like this video if you found it helpful so other people can find it as well. I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepacks and I'm going to catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.